Good morning, guys, and welcome to my channel. I am Letitia, and this is That So Letitia. And for today's video, literally, we are going to do a 15-minute get ready for work with me um, kind of natural beat. And this is happening in real time because I literally have to be out the door in 30 minutes. I have prepped my face. I used already my skin moisturizer. My primer is coming into form. So let's go ahead and get ready. Kind of excited because by us now being into fall, I am actually able to pull out my fall colors um, in terms of like my foundation and my concealer. I know for most people, Theirs is in reverse. For summer, they have a darker color. And then for fall, they bring out the lighter color. For me, because my face is so much darker than the rest of my body, mine is in reverse. So for summer, my color is lighter. And for fall, my color is darker. So I'm going to be using Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in my fall color, which is maple. I'm just going to apply to drops to my hand. I'm going to use my e.l.f. foundation brush and get started. I'm going to try and do this video without much editing or much speeding up just because I want to stay true to the 15 minutes um, under 20 minutes that I typically do every morning. I don't want it to be all glitz and glam and it's like, oh, okay, she did a lot of editing, but it probably took well over an hour to do that face. If I take over an hour to do my face this morning, then YouTube is going to be my full-time job. I will not have a regular job. And because I work in the beauty industry, going to work, looking like anything less than what it is that we inspire our clients to look like in terms of outward beauty, that is blasphemy. So this is what I do practically every morning just to put my game face on. So when I do step into work, I am just as put together as the products that we are um, advising our clients to use. And that's both for my job as well as what I personally portray in my videos. I really like this foundation because it's extremely lightweight. It almost feels like a second skin. And for my hair, I already prepped that. I washed it this morning using Myel Organics, as well as for my styling um, product that I used. I actually used Myel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Styling Gel. By my hair still being extremely short, it takes me all of literally five minutes from start to finish to kind of get my hair together. And I recently had a microdermabrasion session done to my face and that really helped brighten my face and kind of remove some of the blemishes and things that I had acquired over the summer. So that helped cut down some of my time as well doing my makeup. And now I'm just going to apply Juvia's Place Concealer. And again, this is in my fall color. So this uh, color is number 12.
Okay. And as always, while I am allowing the concealer to dry down a little bit, I will be applying my eyebrows using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Again, I do these off camera. It just works best for me. In the beginning of my videos, I used to try and do them on camera with you guys and be all up in here with it. Not going to put you guys through that torture. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> so I will be back with you after my brows have been applied. And now we're just going to blend in the concealer. And I know a lot of us prep our eyes for our eyeshadows using concealer as well. What I like to do, especially in the mornings or anytime that I'm kind of pressed for time, is I use my beauty sponge in any of the concealer that's under the eye. Sometimes as I'm blending it in, I just take it over the eye as well. Just because this step takes me quite a bit of time, um, I usually don't really do it in the morning, but I will apply a little bit today, which is going to be my um, contour shade. And I'm just going to apply a bit, not much. Just because this step is so tedious for me, if I'm rushing in the morning or I'm pressed for time, I don't want to go out looking like I got bruises all over my face because I haven't had the time to place it properly and then blend it in properly. It's like normally by now I would have had like my cup of Starbucks. So I am really behind this morning. Starbucks definitely has to be a part of my morning routine where I just feel so out of sorts. Okay, and now we're going to take our setting powder. This step, we kind of get through as quickly as possible. There's no baking. I'm going to use Laura Mercier in medium deep. I'm just going to follow up with a bit of Juvia's Place. I believe this one is in Kalahari. And I'm just going to go over the areas that I wish to have a little bit more lightness. Now I'm going to apply a bit of blush. This one is from Black Radiance and Warm Berry. Perfect for the fall season. And for my eye shades, I'm actually going to be using Morphe 
And this is their Bronze Babe 9B Artistry Palette. This one here. I am going to use the transition color of Road Trip, which is this brown um, matte tone shade. And although this is my work routine, if you're pressed for time, you don't have to get up hours ahead of time just to apply your makeup. You definitely can follow a routine similar to this one as well. Okay, so Road Trip is our transition color. And now we are going to go into Volcano, which is this dark matte color here. And we're just going to try and create more or less like a halo effect. So we're going to go on the outer, the outer eye, and then we're just going to blend that inward a little bit. And because I have a hooded lid, I have to go a little bit higher then some of you will just so the color doesn't get lost in my hood if my eye obviously is not going to be closed and then we're going to take what's left of the volcano i'm not going to dip it back in the palette at least not right this minute and we're just going to drag it over to the inner eye Maybe just a little bit in the palette. Okay, and then we're going to do that to the other eye as well. Okay, and our in our halo color, we are going to use, let's do Sunny's, which is this kind of metallic shade here. Just going to apply it to the finger and go straight down the middle of the halo that we created. See? Okay. And then we're just going to take the brush, no additional product on the brush, and we're just going to feather Volcano into Sunny's a little bit on either side. a little bit more uh, volcano at the top of this guy here. Okay. And I'm now basically going to apply my um, liquid eyeliner. Okay guys, I'm back and for the last step, what we are going to do now is just get the lipstick going and yeah, head out the door. Shout out to my hubby. He brought me back some coffee. It's not Starbucks, but it's, it's good enough. Okay, typically for work, 
I try to go more of a new matte lip, something that has staying power just because I do a lot of talking at work and I don't have the time to keep reapplying my lipstick. So I'm going to use Bite Beauty Multi Stick and Cocoa to just kind of outline my lips a little. And I'm going to go in with NYX Liquid Suede, and this one is in Sandstorm. This is definitely a fan favorite of mine. And that is it guys. So this lippy typically lasts me honestly between talking and like drinking my soda or water or whatever through a straw. Um, it lasts me several hours. I only have to apply, reapply like a light layer maybe towards the end of my shift. But yeah, for the most part, that is it. So I have about maybe 10 minutes left. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me this morning. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, guys. Oh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. As well as if you have not subscribed, shame on you. You need to subscribe. And um, yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.